Hello, I'm Julie Andrews. In March of 1964, I arrived here at the 20th Century Fox Studio lot to begin my very first day of rehearsals for The Sound of Music. Like Maria on her first day at the Von Trapp Villa, I had no idea what lay in store. No one could have predicted the extraordinary popularity and reach of this movie. Within a year of the film's release in March of 1965, it replaced Gone with the Wind as the number one box office champ of all time. One report claimed that in a town of 65,000 people, there were over 80,000 tickets bought for its premiere engagement. I'm often asked why this film has remained so astonishingly popular after all these years. I don't think there is any one answer. Perhaps it's because the sound of music is first and last about a family. Perhaps it's about faith or that the values that the film embraces are so decent. Perhaps it's the scenery. Perhaps it's simply the breathtaking craftsmanship brought to bear on a movie musical of unprecedented scope and complexity. And surely it has a lot to do with the glorious music and words of Richard Rogers and Oscar Hammerstein, whose tunes soar above the peaks of Salzburg and into the hearts of audiences everywhere. The Sound of Music lives on because it offers a promise that if you have faith and persevere, you can follow every rainbow till you find your dream. I hope the film brings you as much joy as it has brought me. So now let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. So, a needle pulling thread, la, a note to follow so. <laughs>